Good morning. Good morning. Woo, welcome. We love you in the name of Jesus. Bless you. Oh, bless, bless you, one you. all. All across you. the nation. We bless you in the mighty name and the beautiful name of Jesus, whose we are and who we stand for. Amen. Oh, Holy Spirit is so here with us this morning, and we just release the the presence of the sweet Holy yes, Spirit yes. upon sweet all of Jesus. you watching. Sweet, sweet Beloved Jesus. Jubilee family, we welcome you. We miss you. We thank you for joining us, and we thank you for joining us around the world. We have Peru watching. Yes. We have London, Welcome England. We have Hawaii. <laughs> we have people around the world watching, you and we can. invite you, you to stay with us as we proclaim God's word over every region of the world today. And we take Live Nation's prayer requests. So we yes, have our so media team monitoring the chat. And so if you have a nation or if you want us to join in agreement or prayer, enter it into the chat and we will join you all for the glory of Jesus. And we so agree with the message Pastor Steve just yeah. released upon us that we speak the word of God over the nations. We don't confine ourselves to what we see in the media. We don't confine ourselves to the fear that's trying to come upon us. We look up and we look to the word and we proclaim and decree the goodness of God yeah. and the promises of the Lord upon every nation over this next nation's prayer. So join us if you are new to Jubilee. We do this every week. <laughs> so come years, again. We've done this. Amen. So we open up with our first scripture that we speak over all of the nations and yeah. it is Psalm 91 verse 9 and 10. And it says, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your Jesus. dwelling place. So we proclaim this over every nation, that every nation, every person around the world is looking up to Jesus and making the Lord their most high dwelling place. Because we are doing this, no evil shall befall us and no plague will come plague. upon us. So to the plague and to the sickness, we say, stop in Jesus' name. Yes. And we proclaim divine peace and healing and health, divine perfect health over every nation in the name of Jesus. And we have a miracle story from France this morning. Amen. There is a pastor that has a hundred person choir from various cities across the nation of France and once a week they're releasing praise and worship all across the world particularly those who speak French and Ramey from our church sent this to us we bless you Ramey we bless this amazing demonstration of this beautiful expression of Jesus in French. I can't do it in French. But we say thank you, Jesus, for the glory. Merci. That is the merci, merci, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for the wonderful work that you're doing through the pastors and through the body of Christ all across France. We bless you, France, for doing this. We bless every one of those hundred churches that are reaching out and praising Jesus every week in live in Zoom meeting in France, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Yeah. And we have our precious brother and sister, John and Michelle Klein, yes. who also have ministry in France and across Europe. And we bless your ministry for doing the good works of Jesus all across Europe, who needs Jesus so much. Yeah, desperately. We begin, as we always do, by praying over Israel and the United States. And then we join our Holy Spirit translation yes. to go around the world. So stay yes. with us. Stay it's going to be a fun time. Hold on to your seat. We begin by <laughs> praying over Israel. And I proclaim this word of Psalm 91 over Israel. No plague will come no, upon you. No, plague. no sickness will come upon you. I speak divine healing and health upon all of Israel. I speak peace at every border. I speak a looking up of Jesus to every person across the nation of Israel, even into the neighboring nations, yeah. just this desire to be with Jesus, this longing for Jesus, this revelation of who Christ is and what he has done for Israel and how much he loves the Jewish people and all of the people of Israel. We speak the love of God 
into the nation of Israel this morning. Yeah. And now we come to beloved United States of America at this beautiful world. I just got there a few seconds ago. Jesus is speaking to America. And look at his nail pierced hand. It's still nail pierced. It's not bleed, but it's still near nail pierced. And he says, America, come on to me, you who are weary and heavy laden, and I alone can give you rest. Learn of me, for I am meek and lowly, and you will find rest for your soul. Take my yoke upon you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So if you're burdened, you have a yoke of anger, yoke of sickness, yoke of unrest, come to Jesus, and He, America, will set you free. In His name, in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Jesus is the source of the forgiveness and the love and the peace and the justice that we are crying out for across the nation of the United States. So beloved, just see the United States lifting our eyes up and looking to Jesus for that peace and freedom that we're crying out for. And see the United States coming together as one nation united under the provision and the protection and the love of Jesus Christ. And we also yeah. pray over California. Yeah, California. <laughs> we oh, always pray California. over our we beloved live in state. California. He holds us by his hand. And he never lets California go. He never ever lets us go. So be at rest, California. Settle yourself down. Be at peace. And know that Jesus holds it. And he says, I will never leave you or forsake you, even unto the end of the age. So California, he's got you covered. And covered by the blood of his sacrifice. In Jesus' name. And oh, now amen. I just got a word for Hollywood, too. Oh, I, wow. As you were praying for California, I heard the Lord say to Hollywood, I'm coming. <laughs> Jesus is coming to Hollywood. And he wants to tell his story. He wants to bring people to fall in love with him through film and television and through media. So Hollywood, watch out. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. And he has good things to bring yeah, to good, movies and good. film through just all of his glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. We've already got some prayer yeah, requests, several. beloved. So before we get on Holy Spirit translation, we're going <laughs> to lift these nations up. The nation of Peru, yes, near Peru. and dear to Larry's yeah, heart, no. our heart. <laughs> we just did a, a healing crusade. We're doing yeah. a healing crusade, our first ever broadcast live healing crusade to the nation. I mean, two weeks. Saturday. A week yeah, from yeah. this Saturday. Two weeks, August it's 1st. August, August the 1st, whatever date that is coming. <laughs> two weeks, <laughs> two weeks from Real Saturday. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Jesus. We so join us. Yes. The sick so will be healed and the redeemed will be called forth right. into the kingdom of God. And so the join us. The will be set free. The oppressed, the guilty will be made, be absolved by the power and the love of Jesus. Forgiveness. And forgiveness will flow. Name. And we lift up England, England. our beloved England, sister church of Commonwealth yeah. Fellowship. We lift you up. We lift up the whole nation of England. We lift up London. The Tower of London is seeing the light. I just heard that from the Lord. The Lord is shining his light upon the Tower of light London. He is transfiguring the darkness that has shined upon London. He is transfiguring it into his glory and his light. So look up London. Look up England and yeah. see the glory of the Lord. And we lift up Hawaii. Oh, we love oh my Hawaii. goodness, we love Hawaii. It's such a beautiful <laughs> state and full of glory. And we just proclaim that the Lord is going to be opening up tourism yeah. again, once again yeah. in, in Hawaii. And he's going to be opening up the economy. And he is going to be creating new jobs. And he's going to be calling the people who are out of work. He's calling them back to work in the name of Jesus. And Thank he's opening up Jesus. new sources of income. So Hawaii, stay in faith and look to Jesus and believe what he is doing in your midst. And the Ukraine, oh, we love the Ukraine. We lift up the Ukraine. We speak the goodness of God and the light of Jesus to shine upon the nation of Ukraine from border to border. A massive revival Amen. of the name of Jesus. Signs, wonders, miracles being 
per- perpetrated all across the Ukraine from the mountain to the seashore in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Now, okay, now ready. are you ready? ready. <laughs> Get ready. We We're go. getting on Holy Spirit Express. Whoa. Actually, he's whisking us Here away. He's Here whisking us into the nations. He's taking us from land to land, and here we are. We have landed at our first stop. That was fast. That was good. We got all the way to the Middle East, and we're going to proclaim our first scripture over the Middle East, and it is out of Isaiah 53, 5 from the Passion Translation. He endured the punishment that made us completely whole, and in his wounding, we found our healing. And the author of the Passion Translation gives a footnote to that scripture. It's so beautiful in the Passion Bible. He says an alternate translation could be in the fellowship of being one with him, with Jesus, is our healing. So in fellowship with Jesus, we find our healing. How beautiful is that? It touches our hearts so much. We're like this. Yes. Amen. And, and so healing flows yes. between Jesus the, the healing healer, from our fellowship. And we the ones that need the healing. So come to Jesus and Amen. be one mm. with Christ today and receive everything you need by his proximity to your soul oh, amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. And we speak amen. that over all of the Middle East, all every Middle nation. East, every we nation. proclaim the fellowship of Jesus into every heart, yes. into every household, and at every border across the Middle East in the name of Jesus. Yes. We come to Qatar, the little nation of Qatar. But I say Qatar is free to come to Jesus. I Qatar, you are free to come to Jesus. Fish and science and wonder are coming upon many of the people, the Qatarian, free to come to Jesus. And then next, we go to Saudi Arabia. Look at this flag. There's a big sword on this flag. I declare this sword is not a warfare. This sword is the Spirit of God and the and the Spirit of God, and it's the sword of the Spirit. And the sword of the Spirit says, if any man be in Christ, be in Jesus, he's a new creation. All things have become new, and all things are of God. So Saudi Arabia, open your heart from the Sultan of Saudi Arabia to the lowest person in Jesus' name, and open your heart to Jesus by the sword of the Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Woo-hoo. And here we go again. Wow, we're getting back on Holy Whoa. Spirit Express, and he is going to translate us just in a few Go seconds. Even with my high heels, whoa, he whoa, still whoa, takes whoa. me around the world. Here we go. We are we in go. Asia, our yeah. next stop, and we are going to proclaim our scripture over all of Asia, and it is out of Acts 10, 38, in the Passion again. Jesus of Nazareth was a anointed and appointed by God with the Holy Spirit and with great power. He did wonderful things for others and he divinely healed all. He didn't just heal some, he healed all. all. So we speak that over all of Asia. Every nation, we speak the healing of Jesus upon every person, every heart, every household in Jesus' name. And we come to our beloved nation of Nepal. We have missionary friends, Lisa and Cameron, are right there in Nepal. And we declare of Nepal, this beautiful nation of Nepal, in Kathmandu, the capital, that a great revival, a resurgence of the love of Jesus is coming. And why went? We declare why went is taking the gospel all across from the mountain to the jungle of Jesus, uh, the jungle of Nepal to take the goodness of God and the people responding to the goodness of God in the name of Jesus in Nepal. Amen. We've got some And we've got some new prayer requests. Yes. So keep them coming, beloved. We yes. love standing in agreement with the word of God over the nations that you have on your heart. New Zealand. No, we lived up the land of yes. New Zealand. Didn't we just pray over that? No, Last, we're going to pray oh, next week. Next week. Oh, next, <laughs> next week. week. We're praying we'll over pray New Zealand. Today also. <laughs> we lift up New Zealand. We speak 
the newness yeah. of Christ. Yeah. Jesus is making all things new in New Zealand. Now, Amen. Why is Christ Church one of the biggest city? Because Jesus came to that city, Christ Church. We say Jesus is coming to every nation, every city, Christ Church, and Wellington, and every place else in New Zealand in Jesus' name. Amen. Mexico. We oh. lift up the nation of Mexico. Viva our, Mexico. Our, yes. Viva la Mexico. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias, Senor, for your love yeah. over Mexico. Yeah. We speak freedom yeah. and healing yeah. and divine perfect yeah. health over every household and every yeah. heart in Mexico. Mexico. And Cameroon. We lift up wow. Cameroon. Jesus has such a plan for you. He is setting you free. And he is lifting your eyes up to look to Jesus. And he is pouring his love into your hearts. Yeah. And the Philippines, our beloved <laughs> brother and sister, are on a oh, mission no trip way. to the Philippines. There, Amen. Right now. Amen. So mission trips are continuing even in the midst of our current circumstances. Yeah. So stay in faith. That we are still going to the nations in the physical as well as in the spirit, well like we're doing spirit. right now. <laughs> Kenya. Oh, we love the nation of Kenya. Yes. We have so many missionaries Beautiful. who have been there. Pastor Steve has been there. And we lift up the nation of Kenya. Yeah. And we speak provision and abundance and glory upon the nation. Haiti. We lift up the nation of Haiti. Larry's granddaughter, Kaylee. Kaylee has been there. She loved the Haitian people. She has such a heart for the tenderness, the goodness of God that's taking place by Jesus in the Haitian people. So Amen. we bless you, Haiti, with salvation, deliverance, and total health and healing. Hallelujah. In Jesus Hallelujah. Name. And Trinidad. We lift up the nation of Trinidad and we speak the glory of God upon it. He has a destiny for you and a love for the people across Trinidad. And we speak peace at your borders, peace in your households, and reconciliation across the entire nation. And lastly, we have a prayer request for Oxnard. Our beloved city <laughs> will lift street. up Oxnard, <clears throat> Ventura, Camarillo, Thousand Oaks, the Conejo Valley, yes. the entire Ventura yes. County. We speak the love of God. Larry has done several uh, crusades in Oxnard, and the word of God has been planted yes. in that land. And we speak a resurrection, yes. a revival of that word, a revival of the miracles. Larry has seen so many miracles in Oxnard. The city of Oxnard has been tremendously transformed by the power of God. The fish crop has grown. Many uh, housing is flourishing. So we say flourish like the palm tree in the garden Amen. of Eden. We Amen. say flourish, Oxnard. You shall be saved. Every soul of Oxnard shall be saved because you're yes. held in the hand of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just I just heard the Lord also want us to release a blessing over the migrant workers. Yes, yes. We love the migrant workers yes. of Oxnard and so does Jesus. Jesus doesn't care where you come from, where your family is, what your circumstances is. He loves you. That's right. He has a heart and a joy and a delight in you. And so we lift up the migrant workers and we say Jesus is in the midst of you. Look up and receive his love and peace right now yes. in the name of Jesus. And we're back now in we're Asia. Back, we're still in Asia. We haven't left. <laughs> South Korea. We love South Korea. And I noticed that the amount of COVID-19 is very low in South Korea. Yes. And I declare is the reason is the prayer of the saint. Church of South Korea, God bless you because the, pra the righteous, the prayers of the righteous are availing much in South Korea. Keep it up and you'll watch COVID-19 disappear Woo. out of your nation Amen. in Jesus' name. Out. We declare yes. it in Jesus' name. Perfect health in, yeah. in the name of Jesus. And now we're getting back on our Holy Spirit translation and he's Look taking out. us all the way the Eurasia, around world, the world, world, world. and now we're going to Eurasia, yeah. and here we are, and we are going to proclaim Matthew 8, 17, also in the Passion, yes. over all of Eurasia. He put himself, he put upon himself our weakness, 
and he carried away our diseases and made us well. So Eurasia, the Lord is making you well. And what does that mean to be well in Christ? It means to be full of peace, yeah. full of joy, full of light, full of health, full of health and provision yeah. in the name of Jesus. We come to the nation of Estonia. Estonia is a very rocky, craggy, many areas, and it has a lot of little churches. So I say, breathe life to the churches in Estonia. Estonia was saved over a thousand years ago. So I speak life and healing and health to Estonia. The hearts will be melted, the stony hearts of the people will be melted into a heart of flesh. And they will say, Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. Make me brand new today. Amen. In Estonia, in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, and now we get train, on the train. The We're going train to your... It's a fast train. It takes us there instantly. <laughs> and Love here we are train. in Europe. And we're going to proclaim Exodus 15, 26 in New King James. At the end, it says, for I am the Lord who heals you. That's right. So that is such a simple statement, but it's so true. And we lift up all of Europe. We lift up every yeah. nation yeah. across Europe, every border across Europe, every household. And we say, Jesus has healed you and he has restored you and he has healed your heart and he has brought forgiveness and peace into your households and at the borders in the That's name of right. Jesus. And our nation is Italy. Now they say the coronavirus in Europe started here. So I say it ends there. Listen, Italy, it ends here. It ends in Italy. I yes. say you are coronavirus free. Italy, be healed, be healthy in Jesus' name. Do not be afraid because Jesus Christ is your salvation. He is your healing. I declare this today. Italy is free of the coronavirus in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And next, this beautiful flag. Oh. We have this flag of Macedonia in our home. Now look at this. This is the sunburst. And this is the son of righteousness. This Malachi 4.2. The son of righteousness rises up with healing in his wing. So Macedonia, you are healed. You are saved. You are delivered. You are made whole. Macedonia, the son of God, shines on you. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we just got a prayer request for Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. So we lift up the nation of Pakistan. Yes. We say Jesus is transforming Pakistan into a nation that loves Jesus. He is building up the churches and the body of believers in Pakistan. Pakistan, listen to me. There are many signs and wonders that have been worked recently by evangelists in the nation of Pakistan. Again, I say the evangelists, the pastors will proclaim the goodness of God in this beautiful nation of Pakistan. And all of Pakistan will be held and, and, and succored and held close to the heart of God because of Jesus Christ in the heartbeat of Pakistan. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. And Poland. Poland. I love the nation of Poland. I have family. My mother's family has roots in Poland and Romania and all parts of East, uh, East Europe and uh, Russia as well. But we lift up Poland. Yes. We lift up the people of Poland. I just feel how much the Lord loves yes. you and how much compassion he yes. feels for you because he has seen all of the darkness. He has seen what you have been through and he has seen your faithfulness yes. and he has seen the glory that he has for you because he has thoughts and plans for Poland beyond what we could even imagine. And so Lord, we ask that you open up the windows of heaven and pour your blessing upon Poland, yes. pour your goodness upon Poland and while we're at it, we'll lift up Romania and Russia and Germany and all of the nations in the eastern part of Europe that have been plagued with darkness. We say out darkness Light. 
in the name of Jesus. Light come forth in the name of Jesus. Shine from Jesus' face. Shine. Amen. What used to be Eastern Europe. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I felt the Czech Republic and Belarus as well, just all covered with the light and the glory of Jesus and a new day. Amen. We're getting back on our Holy Spirit Express. And this time we're going to the oh, islands. Do you want to go on an island, island Whoa. vacation? Whoa. Here we go. Yes. We can go to the islands anytime on Holy Spirit Express. He just takes That's us there right. so quickly. And we are going to proclaim our scripture over the island nations. And it is out of Psalm 107:20. He sent his word and healed them and he delivered them from their destruction so we send the word of god to every island nation and we send the healing of jesus and the yes. love and glory and abundance that the lord has for the island nations and we come to the beautiful island nation of fiji beautiful flag beautiful island there's 63 percent christian in this beautiful nation and i say rise up church rise up believer take the glorious gospel from your beautiful nation to every island in the pacific and be the evangelist be the pastor be the purveyor of the gospel of jesus christ fiji i send you out go forth in the name of jesus go from your beautiful island to every island in the name of jesus with the glorious gospel power healing and delivered in jesus mighty name and and i just felt like the lord wanted us to highlight this image right here that is the dove of peace now in this uh version it's not quite so clear but this is the dove of peace with an olive branch in his mouth and he is bringing peace to the world so the lord has a destiny for fiji to be a nation of of spreaders of the gospel and spreaders of peace of the lord bringing to the nations and so fiji we lift you up we lift up every person across the island nation and we say go for it go for jesus love him live for him and go to the nations in the name of jesus amen and now we're back on our holy spirit express and this time we are off to To the land of africa the continent of africa and Jesus has such a love for Africa and a plan and a destiny. And we're going to speak Psalm 103.3. Yes. Psalm 103 is one of our favorite psalms Pray because it talks today. about all of the promises of God and the benefits. He beautifies, dignifies, and crowns, ground, crowns us kindness. with loving kindness. In the Amplified, and it mercy. says he beautifies us. I love that part. <laughs> and he fills our mouth with good yeah. <laughs> so that our youth Beautiful, renewed is like the like eagles, the eagle strong, overcoming, overcoming and, strong and soaring. And soaring. So we speak the beautification and the love and the age renewal, the yes. age defying <laughs> over all love of that. Africa in the name of Jesus. A Psalm 1033 in the Passion says, You kissed my heart with forgiveness. Oh, how beautiful love is that? that? He kissed your heart with forgiveness. Oh. In spite of all I've done, you've healed me inside and out of every disease. So we speak kisses from heaven upon every heart of every person across Africa in the name of Jesus. We come to the nation of Mozambique. Now on this flag, there's a hole, there's a military rifle, but there's a book. And because of the power of God, if nothing else, through Heidi Baker's ministry and the 6,000 churches that Chidra has been a team have planted, I say this represents the Word of God. The Word of God is saturating and vibrating through the nation of Mozambique. And all of Mozambique will be saved and transformed by the Spirit of God according to His Word. In Jesus' name. And now we come to the Republic of Congo. And the Congo has many, many Christians in it. So I say, rise up, church, in the Republic of Congo. Take the gospel next door and down the street and across the great African coast. In Jesus' name, Congo, you will be saved by the power and the love of Jesus that vibrate from shore to shore. In Jesus' name, amen. Woohoo! 
And now we're now, on our last, last part of our trip. So trip join us, ready. beloved. Get on Holy Spirit Express Whoa. with us. He translates us just immediately to a whole nother part of the world, back to the Americas. And so here we are landing back yes. in America. And we are going to speak our scripture over the Americas. And it is Jeremiah 33, 6 at a new King James. Behold, I will bring it health. Yes. and healing. Amen. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Yes. So we speak the healing of Jesus and the peace and truth of the Lord upon every nation in the Americas, north, south, central, all across the land in the name of Jesus. And we come to the nation of Honduras. Beautiful, beautiful Honduras. I've been next door in El Salvador. I've been next door in Guatemala. And I believe we'll go to Honduras also. But Honduras vibrate with the power and the pleasure of Jesus. And I'd say through signs, wonders, and miracles, the nation of Honduras will be vibrating with the with the exquisiteness of the power and the love of Jesus. So Honduras, be prepared for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost in great power in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, back to America. Yes. Hallelujah. And we come to the volunteer state of Tennessee. And I read today about the volunteer state of Tennessee. They've had tornado. So I speak health and healing to every victim of the tornado. I say, be encouraged, be whole, be healed. And I declare that your home will be restored. Everything will come back into beautiful order because of Jesus. There's many, many believers in the state of Tennessee. We declare Nashville and, and, and all the other places shall be saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And beloved, thank you for joining us. I'm just going to check our chat one more time and see if there's any last minute requests we haven't seen. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I can't see any, so I'm just going to say, say we, we prayed for them all. So thank yes. you for, for lifting up the nations. Request. Thank you for we putting in you, your Jesus. requests. Thank you for honoring the nations with us. Yes. Our prayers are such a big deal, beloved. Yes, they they, heaven responds to them. I shared this in one of our recent prayer events, but I, I want to share it again today. We've been praying over Belize now, yes. the nation of Belize, for, yep. for the last couple of months. Yep. And I just read an article last week that Belize is opening its airport starting in the middle of August. And it is specifically welcoming every, every nation, nation to come and visit Belize. It is un Belize. inviting every nation, including right. the United States, to come to Belize. And they are opening their tourism once again. Yes. And we speak that over every nation. And we speak the word of God. And we thank you, Lord, oh, that Lord. heaven responds to our prayers. Like so keep praying. Yes. Keep believing. Keep standing in faith that the Lord is opening the doors of your nation and opening the destiny from heaven over the nation and the people that you carry dear in your heart. The heavens declare the goodness of God. And like Moses said, as he quoted God, as surely as I live, all the earth shall be filled with my glory. All the earth from north, south, east to west shall be filled with the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen. But if you do not know this Jesus who and we're praying we have one, and talking about. And we have one last scripture oh, that we're going to speak over scripture. all the nations. And then we're going to lead you to Christ if you don't know him yet. So our final closing scripture is... <laughs> let, me, let me get it. I've got it right here. <laughs> a little hard to see at times. It's not coming up. So our closing... <laughs> scripture okay here we go <laughs> we love live broadcasting here we go uh, so close our closing scripture yes. over all of the nations is out of Psalm 91 14 yes. out of the Passion Translation for here is what the Lord has spoken to me yeah this is David talking but here is what the Lord has spoken because you have delighted in me as my great lover, yes, wow, love you, I will greatly protect you. 
I will set you in a high place, safe and secure before my yeah. face. So we speak this over all of the nations, yes. that every nation is looking up and making Jesus the lover of their hearts. Every person in every nation, look up to Jesus and open your hearts, and he is knocking at the door of your heart. He wants in, and we proclaim that everyone will respond and look up and receive him and see the glory of the Lord, and he will protect all of us with his joy and his peace and his love. So all you have to do is say, Jesus, come in to my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Make me brand new. Make me brand new. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Wash them away by your blood. Wash them away by your blood. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I receive Savior. you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For loving me. For loving me. Healing me. Healing me. Keeping me safe. Woo, keeping me today. safe. Today and forever. And forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We Beloved, join you. us again next week. We do this every week. We welcome you. We thank you. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Love you. See you next week. <laughs> See you Jesus next week. Jesus is Lord. Woo! Jesus is Lord over the nations. Amen. Hallelujah.